Hi friends, welcome to Tutorial Ace. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use filter for making search. You can see using Angular filter, you can make a very fast and very interactive search. So let me show you with practical example. First, let's uh, open your CMD or command prompt. In my case, it's D drive. So CD Angular plus CD plus then ng new custom search so i'm just installing a new application here cd and then oh cd uh, what's not the project name was cd search filter CD custom search so now let's open visual studio code for code checking open folder let's go to d drive here and then this is my angular class project so the project name is custom search this one before we proceed ahead, we need to install one plugin uh, dependency. Then we need to install this dependency. And then, so the dependency is npm install ng to search filter. Okay, we need to install this and then save. So press enter. Now it will install. Now npm start or ng serve whatever you prefer and let's open here src folder and then app inside app app component of js so here we will write students students and then here one array inside this one curly braces so uh, name here Rajesh Kumar and then uh, email Rajesh at rate gmail.com and then address address full cotton. Now let's copy this one two three and four so this one is starting from r so i put it from a amit kumar amit kumar and here will be delhi and here nares so I'm not changing this okay so Mumbai I'm not changing email ID or you can just change this one as well so not Rajas actually Nitesh mm. Kumar then this here Lina, John, Lina, gmail.com, and here, Dubai. Okay, so these are the list. This is the object list, okay? Now, let's go to uh, this app module.ts, and here we will call here import, import. ng to search ng to import ng 
to five search module this one and we need to import here inside this import section okay that's it and now whatever we have to do we will not make changes here so let's delete everything now let's do one thing let's uh, include bootstrap cdn strap cdn for better design just copy from here that's it and let's go to index.html and then let's include this one here okay so th that's it and uh, this file needs to be closed also and yes one more thing we need to include here import import forms module forms module from forms because we are going to use forms module as well so that's it now let's come here and then let's start here table and then class table class table in here t h the head in here t h so it will be name email address email in here address okay in here t body inside this tr and then inside here will be uh, td and td close here star ng4 equals to uh, students student of students so first let's display here the list of the students from so here we will write student dot here for late I forgot so this is first name so and then last name it's not last name actually email and address so email and then address so now let's see how does it look like so here local host 4200 server starting no, still is compiling okay by the time it the server starts we need to add one more thing here so before this table let's do one thing here uh, okay let's create one div rather and then input type text and then ng model equals to square bracket double inside this and search so let's close it and then we need to define the search inside here so search then any yes and here in the pipe we need to call we need to call this search actually we need to write here filter filter search okay now let's go to here and create one pipe okay so ng ngg pipe uh, ngg pipe uh, custom or search simply search so 
one pipe or filter will be created here called search all right so now it's search is created here you can see this one search.pipe.ts so as you know that this one is interface pipe transform which contains one function which needs to be uh, called here and here will be we will make changes here so so let's let's make modification in this this will be value any then arch any and here as well it will be any let's delete this return and here we will write if value not value that means if user have not typed anything in that case it will return null if user has not typed anything then in that case user will return null and then if user types here something so it will be args if not args return value if not arguments if there is no argument in that case it will return the default value okay if user if user has not typed anything in that case the argument will return value that means it will return default then we will write here args equals to arguments dot lower to lower to lower case so whatever user will type first it will transform into lower case so it must be l capital here to lower case l capital then here will be return return value dot filter then function and inside this parameter will be data and here should be this will be closed here not here only uh, this is starting this is starting this one in here then again return return json json dot stringify and it will be json dot stringify data to lowercase includes arguments and this one of course will be any so that's it in this so what will happen here when user types something then it will come here and finally it will be converted into lowercase and it will match filter and ultimately a json data will be returned and it will display here in html filter so let's see that how it works okay so this is our output now if i write here the largest oh, still not started here npm start okay now let's refresh it and check okay so this is the data now if i write here edge hina you can see it is filtering very fast if i write here mumbai you can see it is displaying here this one so if right here actually this one is filtering here so if right here nites nites nares it's actually so as you can see it is filtering and searching very fast so okay let me recap once again so what did we do first we install uh, where is this here yeah. first we inst install ng to search pipe module and we included this one here and also we included forms for you so in this app module.ts file there is there are two uh, files that we imported here that's it and then we created one uh, filter or we created one pipe called the search okay so this search is actually we are calling here so export this then transform so we are passing two arguments here 
the first one it will match based on this argument so this is the confusing thing you should understand user will type this one and it will match and return this value okay so if if null that means if user has not typed anything then it will return null if there is no argument then it will return value means that that means if user has not typed anything in that case it will display the full data and now if user has typed in that case third step if user has typed something first it will convert it to lower case okay and then whatever data it has been passed it will filter from the complete data and finally it will return the data and display to the screen so that's it guys in this it's not very hard and difficult so hope you understand thanks for watching bye bye